At the beginning of the 19th century, time was calculated by the angle of the sun, and hence it varied from region to region. It wasn't until the introduction of modern standardized systems like the railways that small local differences in time mattered. A coordinated timekeeping system had to be accurate for the train network to operate both reliably and safely. People needed to know when trains were arriving or leaving. Each railway station had numerous clocks for passengers on platforms and waiting areas, and for the rail workers in staff offices, good yards and signal boxes. Thousands of clocks, watches and timekeeping devices were coordinated to a standardized system across the state. Many historic railway clocks remain key features of Sydney train stations today, or conserved as part of museum and private collections across the state. This is the story of running on time, told by those involved with the conservation of railway clocks, as well as current and former staff of Sydney Trains and the New South Wales Railways. The household maybe only had one watch or clock and had no reference to it, that when they walked to the railway station, they either looked at the railway clock or looked at uh, the town hall or the local church, and that gave them a, uh, a time that they, they knew, well, they, they trusted it. When you sent your clock in, and it had to be directed to the chief electrical engineer, they would take pieces out of yours, maybe the movement, the dial and so forth, and give you back a movement that they already had. So many of these clocks actually have four and five numbers. Became involved with uh, Strathfield in 1988 and the workshop had been shifted from Chalora. There's quite a number of clocks that exist in the New South Wales system. It's thought that the first ones that arrive into uh, the railway system come out of England. That's the English fusee. It's a round dial clock, so it's a 12-inch round uh, white painted dial and a very simple frame. Through the years they've slowly decommissioned uh, and been replaced by a synchronised clock network. So the precise clock system was, was introduced for the Olympics. Railways had a unifying effect with time because the first time you had a mass communication system that was reliable that could be timed to the minute. There's a hierarchy of time services down from a very, very reliable time source uh, through a set of servers that, that we maintain in-house that, that distribute time to all of the places in, in the organisation that time's used onto our control systems for our trains, onto our indicator systems, onto our precise clocks, onto our telephone system, onto our desktop PCs. All of those systems uh, link back to that same time source.